How's it going everybody? Intimidation here and I'm uh, giving you a look at my Campanatus semi-testaceous colony and they have a lot of brood as you can see and the queen just started laying eggs about a week and a half ago and uh, when I overwintered them they had a small clutch of first instar larvae about uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 and in that week and a half since I, they awoke uh, it has become this, and uh, they are doing quite well. I've been feeding them uh, termites for the most part. I've been feeding them damp wood termites, which are really huge. Um, I can show you those in a second, show you what I mean. But uh, for that, I'm going to show you the queen. Just right over here. There she is. And she recently started producing. She is very plump. And I have nine workers and one medium uh, major. Well, I, it's kind of it's kind of in between a minimum and a medium major worker. So it's kind of in between, you know, <laughs> the smallest and the the second to largest so it's kind of in between uh, cam uh campanatus as as you know are, are very poly polymorphic and uh, they have varied uh worker sizes so but uh, yeah she uh she likes hanging out in the shade and then they uh they put all the brood in the uh, in the light where they can uh grow faster so yeah uh, let me show you those termites I've been feeding them. Uh, they're pretty, pretty large. I don't know if everybody can obtain these, um, but I find them all over California, and uh, they're they're very large. Uh, these are damp wood termites. These are um, you find these in just the whole colony resides in the wood itself. They they don't uh, they don't dig into the soil like the subterranean species. Um, and I found quite a bit, and as you, as you see here, the the soldiers are huge. They're the ones with those big red heads with the large jaws. And I put a little piece of cardboard in them, and uh, put a little piece of cardboard in the test tube, and that pretty much holds them over until uh, until I'm done with them, until I'm out of them, and they'll stay alive the whole time. And I got them in a classic test tube setup, just like I would with ants. So that's what I've been feeding them. And those termites are roughly about the same size as Camponitus themselves, so it's a pretty good meal. Anyway, thought you guys might wanted to see that. That was uh, this is my the beginning of my Camponitus semitestaceous uh, journal. So I'll be showing other movies of this as the colony progresses. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.